Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Treasure Town here, and today I'm going to be presenting on the top 10 coin-related items on Amazon. So if you're interested in collecting or know somebody that is, and you have maybe an Amazon gift card, or you just like to do your shopping on Amazon, these are 10 items that you should take a look at. And if you're interested in purchasing, go down, and there are links directly to the products below. Coming in at number 10 is a lot of 7 Liberty Head Nickels. It's a $10 item, and this collection of V Nickels or Liberty Head Nickels is probably a cool pickup for a slightly past beginning collector. Many reviewers noted that the coins were less detailed than in the photo, but the price is reasonable for an Amazon coin set, and they offer a look into a neat coin design. It garnered a 3.8 average review score, and most of the coins are from the later years in the set so it would be wishful thinking to expect any key dates. At number 9, we have the Blue Book from 2018. The 2018 book for buy prices, this is an interesting pickup for collectors to put in perspective the value of their coins. The prices are much lower than the Red Book, but often represent a dealer buy price, though occasionally they are slightly inflated, as I work in a coin shop and can speak to that myself. It's a good accompaniment to the next item on the list, the 2018 Red Book. At number 8, it's a, I chose it because it's cost effective, but there are other versions that are not spirals available. The number one bestseller in antiques and collectibles encyclopedias, it's a full color guidebook of US coins that I believe is a must have for collectors to have at least one of in their life. I haven't bought this year's edition but I gained a ton of knowledge from the Red Book 2014 in the past. Number seven is one half pound of different world coins with very high ratings, actually about 4.8. People seem to react very positively to this one. Some people complained that there were a couple coins with multiples and some poor or uninteresting coins included in the mix, but this could be really interesting for someone just remotely interested in starting a collection or getting into world coins. At number six is a magnifying glass. I looked for what seemed to be a very popular magnifying glass, and this definitely fit the bill. With an average rating of about 4.4 stars, people really seem to enjoy the 10 times, 20 times, and 30 times magnification that it has to offer. Magnifying glasses benefit coin collectors by allowing them to examine their coins closely and look for details, varieties, and errors, so I'd recommend this one as many others as have enjoyed using it. Number five is an American Silver Eagle from 2017. The lowest price American Silver Eagle that I could find on Amazon. Anyone looking to invest in silver on Amazon should purchase this one, as it also has a 4.9 rating, with no three star lower ones. The price is somewhat high compared to most places, so I won't hide that, but you could use an Amazon gift card and convert it into silver with, with this listing. At number four is 1920 from the Matthew Mint. It's kind of a weird title, but it's something that I'd recommend to purchase for a very beginning collector. Its rating is only 3.8, but over half rate five stars. It's only $14, and collectors receive 45 wheat pennies, which are likely to be 40s and 50s, the more common dates, and potentially Indian head pennies, V nickels, buffalo nickels, steel pennies, silver war nickels, and other older coins, of which they'll get seven. I'd pick this out for someone who has very little experience collecting, as the dates and conditions are unlikely to be particularly valuable, but the variety can certainly spark curiosity in a new coin collector. At number three is the braided hair large scent. I find it super interesting that these scents are about the size of a quarter or half dollar. Whenever I show someone that doesn't know much about coins, they're shocked that it could be so large compared to what the penny is today. The auction is for a braided hair large scent below $20, so it's difficult to expect any of them to be in super good condition since the seller needs to make a profit. The reason that it's not higher on the list is that its rating is 3.7 stars. Not terrible by any means, but there are some notable reviews complaining about the relatively poor condition so it's something to look out for. However, the majority, 68% of reviews, are four or five stars. Number two is an Indian head scent collection of 10. It's something that I purchased a while ago, and this collection is something I wouldn't try to miss out on if I didn't have too many Indian head pennies. 
With a 4.7 rating after 74 reviews and only one one or two star review, people clearly agree with me. People classified them as pretty decent condition, though a few reviews predictably claimed the coins were not quite as good as advertised. Anyone who wants a variety of Indian head scents should pick this up. It seems that most people, including me, received 10 different dates as promised. At number one is the three cent piece. I certainly have some bias in this listing, as the three cent piece is one of my personal favorite coins. The history and age of the coin combines with its interesting denomination for one of the neatest coins, in my opinion, in American history. It's around $17, so it's a reasonable price to pay for one of the coins. Not super cheap, but by no means exorbitant. After 45 reviews, its rating stands at a very solid 4.4, with only 6% of reviews being below 3 stars, which is notable because it's better than the braided hair large scent I mentioned earlier. Overall, people seem satisfied with the condition, which is pretty important, but not all the coins are the same, so there could be some duds. However, I wouldn't worry about it since most felt good with their purchase, so if you're looking to make a pickup for a collector who's past the beginning stages, I'd recommend this a lot, as I think that 3 cent pieces are really cool, and I'm sure that a collector would agree with me. Anyways, that concludes this list, so as a reminder, the link is in the description, and if you aren't already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, and commented your thoughts, or commented any ideas for new videos in the future. Thanks, Treasure Town.